In this quick photo retouching demo, I want to show you the difference between the spot healing brush and the normal healing brush. So again, I will go to file and open. I will go to my chapter nine folder and I will open 9.3, heal the wrinkles. So there's a wonderful picture of my mom. And I want to get rid of some of these wrinkles on her face. Sorry, mom. So what I'm going to do is make a copy of the layer first. Command J on a Mac. That would be Control J on a PC. And I'm going to zoom in and check out a couple of these wrinkles right here. So you have the spot healing brush, the remove tool, and the normal healing brush. Okay, the difference between spot healing and normal healing is with spot healing, you just click and drag like that. Now get rid of that little spot, literally for a spot. But if you want a larger area, I would go in with the healing brush and it works like the clone stamp. So I'm gonna hold control and option on my Mac and make my brush just a little bit bigger. Uh, that would be control and alt key and your right mouse button with a PC to make your brush bigger. And now what I do is I find a clean area of skin, like right here between these wrinkles. I option or alt click right there. Then I'll reposition my mouse and I'll paint right up there and I'll let go. Now I do it again, option or alt click reposition and I'll paint that area out right there and I'm going to keep doing that option or alt click paint that area I'm getting these little spots here so I'll option or alt click and paint some of those spots out like that and now I can option or alt click and go over these little areas right in there option or alt click and then I just keep sampling option or alt click and paint option or alt click and paint option or alt click and i'll paint right there option or alt click and i'll paint right there now i've got a bigger and bigger clean area to sample from so now i can option or alt click come down and paint more and more and more option or alt click Come down here and paint more and more and more. Option or alt click and I'll paint out these little wrinkles right there. See with the clone stamp, the problem is if I optioned or alt clicked right there and I came down here, those values are not gonna match. So that's the beauty of the healing brush. It does the, the color sampling as well. Okay, with the clone stamp, you gotta guess the samples and get those values right. With the healing brush, it's kind of doing value editing work for you. So I'm gonna option or alt click, take out a few spots. Option or alt click, take out a few spots down there. Option or alt click, take out a little wrinkle right there. Option or alt click and take out a few little spots down in there. Option or alt click option or alt click and i'm just going to keep jumping around option or alt click option or alt click and then paint and i'll keep going around this face option or alt click take out a couple of wrinkles right up there option or alt click and we'll take out a few wrinkles right there you don't want to take out this wrinkle right next to the nose that's what kind of attaches the cheek to the face so you want to leave a couple of those, but I can option or alt click right here and take out a couple of wrinkles up by the side of her mouth right there. Let's see. Let's turn off the top layer. There's before and after. That looks pretty nice. I'll do a little bit more. Option or alt click, paint. Option or alt click and then paint. Option or alt click and paint. And I'm going to keep doing that over and over and over. And I'm going to keep working my way up into these wrinkled areas here. Okay. 
Go right across those eyes, get rid of a few wrinkles on those eyes. Option or alt click, get rid of a little wrinkle. I can jump way over here. Option or alt click, then reposition and paint right over that area right there to get rid of some of that wrinkled uh, nature under her eyes. There we go. Option or alt click, we'll get rid of a few wrinkles right there. Option or alt click, we'll get rid of a few more wrinkles. Option or alt click, we'll get rid of that wrinkle in her forehead. There we go. Get rid of a few spots right here. Option or alt click. Option or alt click. Option or alt click. And you, you hear me saying that over and over. I am constantly sampling areas of color. Option or alt click, paint a little bit and stop option or alt click paint a little bit more and stop option or alt click paint a little bit more now i come down to the neck area and before i do anything else i want to save my progress here so i'll go to file save a copy i'm going to call this last name first name heel wrinkles i'll save that on my desktop I'm not done yet, so I wanna save my layers. I wanna save a layered Photoshop file. And I'll click Save. Remember, this is still gonna keep the original JPEG open. So you have to close out this file. I don't save it, because I saved mine on the desktop. I will go to File and Open. On my desktop is the file with my name on it. So I can pick up where I left off. Here's before and there's after. It's looking really good. I'll zoom in and let's try a little bit on the neck. So I'm gonna go again with my healing brush. Option click up here. So now I can come down there and wipe out a little wrinkle right there. Option or alt click above. Take that spot out. Option or alt click. We'll take out that wrinkle right there. Option or alt click and let's take out that wrinkle. Nice. Option or alt click. Let's try that wrinkle right there. And looking pretty good. Option or alt click. We'll take out a little one. Option or alt click. Now we'll take out a big area right there. Option or alt click and paint option or alt click and paint option or alt click and paint and i want to keep coming into these little areas option click paint option click paint option click paint option click paint or alt click on your pcs and i'll just try to take out a few more wrinkles right up in here we'll option click on my mac and take out a few more wrinkles down in here Let's take out that one right there. And I'll option or alt click and take out these little dark spots on her neck right there. Option or alt click and let's take out that little wrinkle and that bright spot right there. So I'm gonna zoom back out, see what she's looking like here. There's before and there's after just to kind of smooth things out. I think that looks really good. So keep that in mind, that is your normal healing brush. You have to option or alt click a clean area. Then you go down and paint over the bad areas, the uh, areas you wanna change. And you can see right in here, there's before, there's after. All right, so I like that. I'm gonna go to file save a copy now that I'm done. I'll change that copy down to a JPEG on my desktop as a high quality JPEG. And I'm done. That's how you can uh, add a little more youthfulness to a portrait photo is by using your healing brush to get rid of some of those minor details like I said a few of those wrinkles and just smooth out some of the skin tones. So good luck. Make my mom look good.